And we'll be back later. Please, Nancy. I'm an old lady, and when the Grim Reaper is right behind you, <laughs> <laughs> you ought to get up and do what you can do, right? My name is Nancy Noblock, and I'm sometimes a poet, not frequently. And when I was given the invitation to this particular event, I was told it was in honor of my Angelou. And I've read some of my Angelou, like we all have, and I brought some of Maya along this afternoon to share with you. First of all, another lady you probably are familiar with Ruth Benedict, a little bit older, yeah, probably older than all of us here, or maybe not. She may still be around, quite honestly. But here is a poem that she wrote, and if I had really paid attention in poetry class, which I really need to go to sometime, I have a book, and I forgot the name of the author, but it's The Ode Not Taken and it's full of poetry exercises, and someday I'm gonna do all of them. So this is one of the complicated forms of poetry, and it's called, The Art of Losing Isn't Hard to Master. <laughs> the art of losing isn't hard to master. So many things seem filled with the intent to be lost, that their loss is no disaster. Lose something every day. Accept the fluster of the lost door keys, the hour badly spent. The art of losing isn't hard to master. Then practice losing faster. Faster. Places and names and where it was you meant to travel. None of these will bring disaster. I lost my mother's watch, and look, my last or next to last of three loved houses went. Losing is not hard to master. I lost two cities, lovely ones, and vaster, some realms I own, two rivers, a continent, I missed them, but it wasn't a disaster. Even losing you, the joking voice, a gesture I love, I have. I shan't have lied. It's evident the art of losing is not too hard to master. Don't make it look like it. Write it like disaster. Mm -hmm. That was, of course, the voice of the great Ruth Benedict that I tried to do some justice to. I hope I wasn't too off mark. Yeah. Now we go to Mother Maya Angelou, and I was so, I felt, I was such a smart person when I came across this. I don't know, oh, oh, I know where you got this. Now here's Maya's version. No loser, no weeper. I hate to lose something. Then she bent her head. Even a dime, I wish I was dead. I can't explain it. No more to be said. Except, I hate to lose something. I lost a doll once and cried for a week. She would open her eyes and do all but speak. I believe she was took by some doll snatching sneak. I tell you, I hate to lose something. A watch of mine once got up and walked away. It had 12 numbers on it, and for the time of Day. I'll never forget it. And, it. and all I can say is I really hate to lose something. Now, if I felt that way about a watch and a toy, what do you think I feel about my lover boy? I ain't threaten you, madam, but if he is my evening joy, I mean I really hate to lose something. <laughs> again, again, I, I, with apology, 
copies, I tried to give Maya a voice. <laughs> and this is a great event, and you guys are terrific. Thank you so much.